To create your movie, you'll combine various media files in the project timeline. Clip events snap into place next to one another so that everything fits in seamlessly. You can turn off this behavior if you like. You can also import audio material such as MP3s to use as background music. During playback, all audio tracks are mixed together. You can adjust the volume of each audio event individually. Use the volume control on the track to adjust the track volume, or adjust the volume of the entire project with the master volume control. You can define a playback range above the tracks. When you enter play looped mode, this range will be played back repeatedly as a loop. You can adjust the loop region to whatever length you want. Once your video is in the timeline, there are many ways to edit it. The toolbar below the timeline contains useful video editing tools like the split tool and the selection tool. Clip events can also be deleted directly from the tracks. You can also trim the edges of any clip event to make the event longer or shorter. None of this affects the original media files. All editing is non-destructive, so you can experiment as much as you like. Unlimited undo and redo means you can always get back to any point in your editing process. To add a video effect to a video clip event, click the Video Effects tab to bring the Video Effects window to the front. Choose the effect you want from the list on the left. Thumbnails show many preset options. Drag a thumbnail and drop it onto the clip event you want to apply the effect to. The Video Effects window gives you tools to adjust the look of the effect so you can get exactly the look you want. The effect plugins can also be applied to an entire track. Click the Track Effects button and choose the effect you want from the list. When you apply an effect to a track, all video and photo clip events that are on that track will be altered by the effect. Effect plugins can even be added in the preview monitor as master effects for the entire project. As your project becomes more and more complex, it may be difficult for your computer processor to keep up with the high demands of processing video. In these cases, we recommend using proxy files instead of large original files when working with high-res video material. This means that you're working with lower resolution placeholders that allow better playback performance and shorter editing times. Later during export, the original high-resolution files will be used to create your final video. To create a proxy, right-click a video file in the Project Media window and choose Create Video Proxy from the context menu. You can continue working as usual while the proxy is being generated. To improve playback even more, you can select a different preview quality above the preview monitor. These settings change only the view in the project. They don't have any effect on the video output quality when you create your final video.